it is time for Bible quizzing. Woo! We're doing the book of Exodus this year. I'm really excited. So I want to explain a few things as we get started. As your parents already know, we are doing our dig sites on video and each week I will be sending you the lesson on video as well as your memory verse uh, motions to the song and then that way you can practice that. So I hope you take advantage of that. Um, I am really looking forward to a great year. Exodus is probably one of my favorite books. I love the story that it tells of the character. Do you know who it is? If not, you will find out. So we're going to have a great year. I just want you to know that I probably, during my videos, so that I can have the screen close so that you can see it, I will not be on the videos of most weeks, but I probably will do some type of just saying hello to you and praying for you and hoping and giving you words of encouragement. I love you guys. I'm sorry in a way that it has to be this way that we do quizzing, but that's all right. Getting the Word of God in our hearts is so vital and important, and it is so exciting to have the Word of God in our hearts. So I look forward to a great year. I know Miss Katie is super excited. She's given you these books weeks ago, and now is the time. Yay! So guys, um, let's get ready for our lesson and know that we love you and we're excited about quizzing this year. a lot for Exodus. We're just walking out. The people are leaving the land. So we're going to do that. Exodus 3 verse 7. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people, like you have binoculars, in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave. Now your fists are like they're glued together. Slave drivers. And I am concerned about their, back to the slave driver action, suffering. Exodus 3, verse 7. Let's try it together. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. Exodus 3, verse 7. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard the crying out because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned. Alright guys, I'm back. 
like I told you in the video, the teaching video, there are um, snapshot motions that are part of each week and I want to do these with you so that it can help you to remember in one little motion what our lesson is about each week. So this week our motion is this. And what am I doing? I have my two fingers locked together and that word is bondage. So we know that the Israelites are in bondage, but the amazing thing is we also know the God that they serve because it's the same God that you and I serve. And we know that God will deliver just like he delivers us. I wanna pray with you before we leave and just remember, I love you guys. Miss Katie loves you, Miss Jessica loves you, Miss Aaron loves you. We're gonna have a great year in quizzing. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for another year and the privilege and opportunity, God, that we have to study your word. We thank you for Moses, God, and the amazing, amazing man of God that he was. Lord, help us to be able to learn from the book of Moses. Help us to, or the book of Moses. Lord, help us to be able to learn from the book of Exodus and the story of Moses and help us to take that those stories, that scripture, your word, and apply it to our lives. We thank you for another year. Bless this year. Bless the kids as they study and encourage them, Lord, in your word. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. We love you guys. God bless. I'll see you next week. Okay, guys, like I told you in the intro, I'm not in this video. You will see my hand every once in a while because I will be moving the computer. But this way you have a little bit better uh, shot of the slides that I'm going to show you. So we are starting in dig site number one, quizzing 2021. And we're doing the book of Exodus this year. So we have Sir Digalot and um, or Dr. Digalot. Um, you tell me, which one is it? So, uh, really excited that The Adventures of Exodus, it's probably one of my favorite books, um, just because it tells an amazing story and how God brings his people out. So, I'm excited about it, and I hope that you are too. I hope you've been studying. I know Miss Katie gave you the books um, several weeks ago, so I hope you've been studying and you're excited about quizzing this year. Let's get into it. So we're going to be studying about this guy. I hope you know who he is. Uh, he is holding 10 commandments. So does that give a good hint? That is Moses. And so the book of Exodus talks about, um, the life of Moses. So we're going to begin. Let me ask you a quick question. Have you ever had a situation or a problem that made you sad or you felt like, you know, where is God? The amazing thing is sometimes all of us feel that way, but the amazing thing is that when we do, God is there. He is in the midst of the suffering and in the pain with us, and he knows how to deliver us from that pain and that suffering. And that's exactly what he did for his people um, in the book of Exodus. So our weekly memory verse is from Exodus 3, 7. And it says, the Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned about their suffering. And just like our previous picture, I want you guys to know God's concerned for all of us and the suffering that we feel sometimes. And just like this, he hears our cry and he does come to help. I know what you know. I know you know what this is. This is a box of crayons. And I don't know about you guys, but every once in a while, my mom would splurge when I was a kid and I got a box of 64 crayons. Oh my goodness, I was so excited because it was the best, the top, the elite of crayons. 
But the reason I have this picture of crayons is because I want to tell you about this man. And this man's name is Joseph. And Joseph had a coat of, that's right, many colors. So that is why we have the box of crayons to remind us of Joseph. In our dig site, under this main point, it says, At the end of Genesis... Jacob, Israel's son, Joseph, was prime minister of Egypt. Joseph brought his father, brothers, and entire family to Egypt during a great famine. Joseph also saved Egypt from the great famine. The Israelites became part of a large group. So that's why I wanted to use that large box of crayons. Not only do the many colors remind us of Joseph, but also the large box reminds us that the Israelites became a large group. Our next picture is, can you guys guess what this is? Because it kind of looks like a rock, but you have to kind of look closely because this is a clay brick. And this is one that is probably what they looked like, or at least what I imagine that they look like in the Bible, because they made them by hand. And so with this brick, it reminds us of this man. His name was Pharaoh. In our main point, it talks about this, and it says 400 years later, a Pharaoh who did not know what Joseph had done for Egypt enslaved the Israelites. He did this out of fear that the Israelites might not be loyal to him. He forced the people to make bricks. Another thing that Pharaoh did that he's remembered by is this. I know that some of you have baby boy, uh, brother or sister. Well, actually, I suppose that you have a brother or sister. And this one was that Pharaoh, our main point was that Pharaoh wanted to stop the Israelites from increasing. So he commanded the Hebrew midwives to kill the Hebrew baby boys as they were being born. The midwives trusted God and refused to kill the, baby, the boy babies. Pharaoh then ordered that all Hebrew boys babies be thrown into the Nile to die but there's one and I don't want to give it away but there was one that was saved wasn't there we're going to learn about him so that is our story I do want to stop the video and there's one more thing that I want to show you um, but I'm going to stop the video so I can get focus on me I'll be right back